on today's episode, how to build your own hybrid GMC Chevy front end. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Project Nightmare, guys. <laughs> Man, I've been pulling my hair out here for the last uh, about a week or a week and a half since I last left you with this thing. Been trying to figure out this front end. Been trying to figure out combining Chevy with GMC components. And you may wonder why I'm doing that. Well, the reason is, is I was talking to my sister-in-law and she decided that she did not like the front bullets on the uh, front bumper. And that really dictates a lot with these trucks, especially with the GMC, as far as the lower splash pan and all that. A lot of, all that stuff is completely different than the Chevy. So the plan is, is just to use basically the Chevy bumper, use the original GMC eyebrows that go up and over the headlights. So we're gonna retain that GMC look, but we're gonna combine some Chevy components with that to blend everything together just to smooth it out. And then I have to use a Chevy lower grille surround and the Chevy upper grille surround. And then I can go ahead and mount the um, GMC eyebrows. And then we decided to use a Chevy core support because then I can run a little bit different radiator. It's not, not I'm gonna run a horizontal flow radiator instead of a vertical flow. And then that lowers everything down in the engine compartment. It makes it look a little cleaner as well. So that's the plan with that. And then I can run the Chevy hood latch components. I know it sounds confusing and it's been a little bit of a headache, honestly, trying to figure this stuff out. This stuff has been done. I'm not reinventing the wheel by any means with any of this stuff, it has been done. There's a little bit of information out there, but the information is a little bit vague as to what specific components you need with what front end. So the big challenge has just been trying to figure everything out as far as what I need and the right stuff, you know, making everything jive together, if you will. So let me show you what I've done so far. All right, so I've been trying to test fit some of this stuff and I did just loosely bolt the fenders onto this thing just to get me started here. Now, the next thing I did was I got rid of all the GMC stuff. So I removed the upper wings, if you will, that hold the core support, then the lower splash panels, this one down here. And then there was one right there. With running the Chevy core support, now I can go ahead and use the brackets that came with the kit. So now I don't have to try to make up some kind of cross member for this thing. Now the GMC core support, as you see, is much taller and it runs a vertical flow radiator. And the biggest problem with the GMC core support is it mounts in the middle down here. I would have to make a custom cross member to mount this thing in the middle and to support everything else off of it. And this thing does stick up quite high into the engine compartment as well. And she really didn't like that look. So she wanted something a little bit cleaner. This is the GMC hood latch, which I'll no longer be using. Those are the lower splash panels, which I'll no longer be using. And then these are the upper fender supports to the core support, which I won't be using anymore as well. All right, so the components that I have here, I found a Chevy core support, and this is a used one. And then what I got was the Chevy lower grill surround or lower valance. And then that is the upper grill surround or valance. And then of course, I've got the Chevy hood latch assembly and panel there. So I'll still have a little bit of a challenge mounting some of this stuff. There's a couple little things I'll have to figure out, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So as you can see, this is the GMC front eyebrows, if you will. I guess they call them eyebrows, but so this is the front marker light. And then that piece goes up and over the grill on the bottom side of the hood. And then of course, down the other side. And then normally it has those big bullets. I'll throw a picture up, but it has those bullets on the front bumpers and I'll be eliminating that now completely. So basically the bottom half of this grill will be all Chevy stuff and then the top half I'll just leave the GMC stuff. It gives it a really nice clean look and it combines the two trucks and it just, I think it, it does make it look pretty clean. All right, so my task for today is I'm just gonna try to mock this stuff up. I wanna put the core support in and I'll do the lower valance and then the upper valance and that type of thing. I, just I can't go too crazy on mounting this stuff because I don't have the doors hung on this thing so I have no idea where my gaps are gonna be. So I'm basically just gonna be guessing. So I think my best bet is just to get this front end bolted together like it would be from the factory. And then I should be able to kind of manipulate everything and move it around and get it mocked up. So I think I'll start trying to get this lower valance put in position first. Now I do have to trim this thing a little bit. You can see where the radiator mount is here. And it does say in the directions that you do have to trim this thing back. So I'm gonna take these off on both sides and then I'm gonna go ahead and notch this thing out 
probably just cut this whole piece out of here. Now the frame, the radiator, original radiator core support, of course, I no longer need. This will go away. But I'm not going to trim the frame horns until I have this thing basically fitted and in place. Because again, it doesn't say in the directions. It's a little bit vague as far as how, where to cut the frame horns off. So I want to get the sheet metal all figured out first. Get everything mounted, get the core support in, get everything sitting on the two core support brackets first. Then I can figure out my bumper brackets and then I'll know exactly where to cut the frame. All right, so I got this thing roughed out here. I had to take a little, quite a bit off just to get around this core support bracket. And I had to take a little bit off of here so it'd go down. Of course, this is all gonna go up a little bit. The fender needs to go way up. So again, this is just a rough cut just to get me in the ballpark. And it, the instructions do say you have to trim this thing out quite a bit. I'm gonna crawl underneath the truck and start bolting this thing together. I'm gonna try to get this lower splash panel in place. <laughs> All right, I got the lower valance bolted in here. Looks like it fits pretty good. Now I'm not gonna trim any of this in the front around the frame yet until I get this core support kind of set in place and figure out where that's gonna be. Cause I have no idea yet as far as where the front end needs to go up or down yet. So I'm hoping I don't have to unbolt this and fix something later, but we'll see. I'm just gonna loosely set this thing in place here. good yeah it looks like everything will be fine everything's gonna line up just right now this core support looks like it needs to go back more on this side which means I have to notch this lower bracket because it's hitting the uh, adjuster bolt for the power steering box this side over here looks like it's fitting perfectly so I got the core support sitting in here and looks like I got a good gap all the way down it's nice and flush this way and then this side over here, same thing. And then this bolt's just kind of hand tight right now. And then bolt this valance on, it's got it sitting in place here. Just got one bolt started in there. It's a little tight in these fenders. Get in here with this stuff. Makes it a little more of a challenge for me with these trucks because I'm just not as familiar with them. I've never had one of these apart and blown one apart before. So I'm trying to learn all the different pieces and components. And if this was a square body, it'd be nothing to me. So I've had enough of those over the years, but this is definitely a little more of a challenge, but so far, but I like it. It's fun. All right, I got the upper balance in. Looks like everything fits pretty good. I had to beat on this side a little bit, but not a big deal. It fit pretty good, so I got it to fit up there nice. I know none of these trucks are perfect, so it's good enough. But so far, that's it. It looks pretty good. Everything's fitting nice. I've got just a tiny bit of gap above the frame rails right there for the lower splash pan. So I'm not sure if I'll have to trim those or not. So I'll figure that out later. But for now, if I don't have to trim it, I won't trim it. Looks pretty good. I'll have to do a little bit of tweaking. I think this thing had a little bow. Yeah, it did on this side. So this hole here isn't quite lined up, but that's all right. I'll put the upper ones in it. I know the piece is a little bit twisted, so I can fix that. That's not a big deal. All right, I got the hood latch assembly in. I just had to tweak this corner just a little bit to pull it out, but I got all the bolts in it and everything fits like it should. So pretty happy with that. Cause I'm going to try to fit this upper eyebrow in and see if I can't get this thing screwed on. So there's a hole here where it bolts to, and then it goes up and over and it bolts here. And then now this piece here will be irrelevant. It'll be off of this piece a little bit. It won't touch this because this is for the 57 Chevy, but basically it'll just come out here a little bit in front of it. And then I'll figure that out as I go basically. So, I'm just trying to figure all this stuff out again as I go. I'm, I'm kind of on the fly with this, so uh, I'm kind of learning as I do it. So. All right, there's the passenger side. Looks like they fit okay. I wasn't sure how bad they'd be, what kind of shape they were in, you know, if they were all bent up or not. They didn't seem to be.
All right, so those fit pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Gap around the fender here isn't too bad. So the only thing I have here is I do have a gap right here between the front eyebrow piece and then the stock Chevy grill surround, the top piece here. So what I can do there, so this is the stock GMC piece that actually bolts to this eyebrow. So I think what I'll do is I'll massage this and I'll make it work. So I'll just bolt this piece back on to the eyebrow. So it'll be bolted up to the eyebrow right there and then it'll look good. And then it'll have the exact same gap as it did with on the GMC from the factory all the way across. So, And then what I'll do is I'll probably put it underneath the hood latch pan here. And then I'll just drill new holes. And So I think that'll work perfectly. And then it'll give it a nice clean look and it should look good. And then that's a good filler piece. So I can make that work and then I won't have to mess with any of that. And then the hood closes right up to this, just like factory. So overall, I think that's pretty good. Looks like everything fits pretty well. All right, so, well, it looks like I've got this thing pretty well mocked up for the most part. I'll just have to do a little bit more fine tuning. Next, I'd like to get the doors stripped out, get them gutted out. I'm probably gonna hang them back on the truck and get the hinges figured out, see if I need to rebuild the hinges. I don't know what I'm gonna need to do there. I need to check all the hinge pockets and everything in the doors and whatnot. Get the doors hung back on the cab so then I can really fine tune the front end. I'm not gonna do anything more with alignment on the front end until, or the fenders or anything like that, until I get the doors put on it. That way I know exactly where I'm at with everything. There's no adjustment to, you can't adjust the front end. That's one thing about these trucks is I always hear guys complain about adjusting the sheet metal on these trucks, how bad it is, because there is no adjustment on the front end of this. It's all just moving the whole front clip around on the core support mount itself to get everything in alignment. I mean, the fenders and all that stuff on the core support, there's. I mean, minute amount of adjustment. There's almost none whatsoever. So, you know, but the upper fenders, the tops of the tops of the fenders, um, there is adjustment. So I can manipulate the fenders in and out, forward, backward a little bit. But again, the whole front clip has to move forward and backward. So I just want to make sure that I get the doors hung right and get the door jam at the back of the door set perfectly. And then I know I. I can then I can go ahead and adjust the front clip from there if you will so and then I just got to figure out all the hardware I just have the whole thing is just a hodgepodge of hardware so I'm going to replace all of it oh you know what I'm going to do real quick let me get the grill all right so here's the stock grill the stock grill's in really good condition so let me see how this thing is going to fit in there too oh no <laughs> Okay, well, looks like I'm taking an eyebrow off. I can't get it in between the eyebrows. You're supposed to put the grill on first, apparently. So let me take one eyebrow off of here and then I'll slide it in there. All right, let's try that again. Looks like this is gonna have to be cut off. All right, so it's not going up high enough right here. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this off a little bit. Um, and it's gonna be really close to hitting this top part of the grill, which I don't wanna modify because this is the stock part of the grill. All right, I'm just gonna cut this off of this thing real quick. All right, I cut that off of there. That'll give me a little more room. All right, now I think this is gonna hit this. Yes, by a mile, <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, that's a bummer. Maybe not. I just had it on upside down. All right, it looks like it did clear, so I am okay. This part up here is fine. We got plenty of room. That doesn't look too bad. Now, one thing people did complain about doing this conversion is there is a little bit of a gap down here at the bottom a little more than normal because the original gmc with the big bullets on there it has a splash pan that goes in between there that fills that so i can do one of two things i can either lo i could lower the grill down just a little bit to split that difference 
or I've actually seen people, if, they, if you can find a used grill, you just take one of the bottom pieces off of there and add it to it and make it a filler piece. I could do that. I'll figure out what to do there. I really don't see any other major issues. So, and then the bumper is gonna go all the way up to here, you know, or a little higher even, should go, well, I think it's supposed to go over this lip here. So the bumper will at least be this high. So of course that'll cover the bottom part of that. So that'll look good. But for now, this is a big step, just getting everything modified. So I know what parts I'm using now. <laughs> so, well, all right guys, I appreciate you watching, uh, watching me struggle through this and trying to figure this dang thing out. So I think I got her though. I feel like I've got it pretty well figured out. Now I know what parts I have. Everything seems to fit together really well. So I think it's gonna look good. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'm just gonna keep doing videos on this build and you know, you follow along with me if you'd like and see how this thing turns out. Cool, I appreciate you watching and uh, like and subscribe if you don't mind. I'll see you on the next one.